the conversation we had with Rich on his live stream earlier today kind of sparked this podcast episode concept yeah. because of that and us using it, of course, as a cool tool, Jarvis. But, you know, Rich brought a good point because we were talking about the power of having a podcast and, and doing all this content and like repurposing it in smart ways. And, and he was basically saying, he's like, hey, we all got to be aware that there is this technology, Jarvis, and probably a lot of others coming into play. And right now, people are able to create a really simple system and smart system. And you can see all this in that Facebook group I was telling you, because people are just sharing this freely. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, th it's getting become very easy to write books and weekends that are, I think, mainly nonfiction. But actually, it does some fiction stuff pretty well too, because I've I played around with that. So it, it can pull off some fiction. Um, but it, I mean, it's gonna, you know, it's automating all sorts of different long form content that would usually take a lot of time and effort. So he was like, yeah, you got to get smart and almost like build more assets or like I was saying, there's almost like a moat around your content. You can't just like hang on and, and just think that blogging is going to do the trick because you know, there might be some people in your niche that are going to just going to blow it away in terms of SEO because of the amount of content they're putting out there. That's also, you know, surfer SEO is saying right on this topic, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and there's been like, you could do a lot more research, but the writing aspect almost can be done by AI yeah. and then cleaned up by an editor or something. And people are just cranking out content right now, but obviously it's not so hard or not so easy to do that with audio and video content. Yeah. At least yet, you know, that technology I'm sure is coming, but um, that's still a little further out. Yeah. I mean, we were watching a video on YouTube recently about this dude who basically created an entire new website mm. just using Jarvis, right? Mm -hmm. Like he went and I don't, I think he picked the niche. I think he used, you know, hrefs or something like that and picked a niche and the niche he was doing was like the barbecue and grilling yeah. niche yeah, or something yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. And then he went and used Jarvis and surfer.seo uh, or not dot SEO surfer SEO mm -hmm. and Jarvis to basically find like a hundred different blog posts, concepts yep. and then he used jarvis to essentially write articles on each of these concepts and now he has a whole website in the barbecuing grilling niche so i mean this is definitely still a very marketers kind of thing but what's to say give it a few months a year you know probably more like a further out but like more wider adoption of this kind of technology i'm sure jarvis isn't going to be the only one yeah it's not well, the only one what i keep thinking about is and it actually is kind of scary when you start thinking down this route but like you look at things like Descript, and we were talking about this with Rich a little bit, but we were also talking about this with, I think, Molly when we had her on the Pod Hacker session. You've got tools out there like Descript, and like with Descript, you can, you know, it, it's got functionality in there now. Where, so basically what Descript does is you can import like an audio file, it will transcribe the whole audio file, mm -hmm. and then you can edit the audio by editing the transcript, right? So you can like delete a word from the text and it'll actually delete that word from the audio clip as well. And it also works with videos too. Uh, but they've just started rolling out this functionality where it can learn your voice mm -hmm. and you can actually insert words back yeah. into the transcript. I think that's going to be the soonest, not the video side, because that's like super Yeah, the technical. video is going to be a little bit harder, it's but audio. the audio side, you yeah. can insert words into the transcript mm. and it'll read it as your voice because it learns your voice. Now you have to input like a thousand hours of content or something of, yeah. insane before it really learns your voice. But like if, if you misspeak and you want to go back and change a word that you said, you can go in delete the old word, write in a new word, and the audio will sound like your voice reading the new word. Now, extrapolate that a few years out uh -huh. to where it can do entire like dialogues that sound like your voice. Sure. Right? It's getting there. I've heard some pretty damn convincing automated uh -huh. like well, audio now. But like when you extrapolate that, and we might get to a point where we go and tell Jarvis to write a blog post in the voice of Gary Vaynerchuk, uh -huh. right? There's enough hours of content from Gary Vaynerchuk on the internet that you can feed it into a tool like Descript and it can learn his voice, right? So what's to say I can't have an article automatically generated that is kind of sounds like the way Gary Vaynerchuk would speak and then plug it into a tool like Descript uh -huh. and then have Descript read the whole thing out. Now I have a podcast episode by Gary Vaynerchuk that sounds like something he would say, but Gary Vaynerchuk literally had nothing to do with it. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. You, you can could, pro you I could mean, the technology exists now. to do that yeah. now. It just yeah. it, it probably wouldn't be super convincing. You'd probably listen to it and be like, I can hear some flaws in there. But Yeah, and that's where, and I know the video side, that's like I was listening to one of the Easy Prey podcast episodes with Chris Parker mm -hmm. about deep fakes because I was like, ooh, deep fakes. Yeah. And essentially, the guy that was making deepfakes said, 
this is like years, years and years off because it takes crazy computing power. Yeah. To do, I mean, at, at the level we're talking about, like where it's a marketer picking up and doing deep fakes, like that shit's like probably 10 years away. Yeah. Maybe five at the l earliest. But well, and the people that are creating the technology are trying to create it in a way where faked content is digitally watermarked so, mm -hmm. that, so that you know theoretically you can disprove that it was real in court and things like that man, but wild it's, just, world, man. it's just really really fascinating to see where this stuff is going because it could get to the point where you and i are creating hustle and flowchart podcast episodes and we weren't involved right like we could go in there and say well, write us an article <laughs> about right <laughs> uh write us an article about facebook advertising yeah. it creates an article we plug it into descript and then descript just does the whole podcast in our voices <laughs> right it could uh, get there with podcasting yeah. and at that Takes point all the personality out of it man. at that point is podcasting even that valuable and you know well, this is why we need to be edutainment mm. or uh entertain first i guess education would come first in that whole word yeah. made up but yeah you gotta it's almost like you got to put in your own uh, your personality into this thing. Like when that's the part that the robot's going to take a little while. Like mm -hmm. you could read words, but how about the tonality and the inflections and the inflections PC. and the voice cracks? <laughs> you can't pull that one off AI, huh? <laughs> come on, come and try. This is, I think, a bigger reason why you want to build a brand. Mm -hmm. Build a brand around your voice and something that's difficult to replicate. But even that, like, obviously, most of us aren't worried about someone ripping us off and trying to be us because we're like, come on, mm -hmm. that should be Gary V worried about that. <laughs> Although we have plenty of hours of our voices out there. Well, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people are starting mm -hmm. to, and we will in the future. So, this is great to think about. And Rich brought up a great point, and I'm happy we're chatting about this because we should all be thinking about how we build our own platform or this thing that, that, is is a lot more valuable than some standalone piece of content that someone's probably cranking through using Jarvis or some other technology. Mm -hmm. It you know it's this bigger strategy, the thing of like why are you creating this content? What's it connected to? What's the next step? Are they, like there's a lot of other stuff outside of just let's create a bunch of content and just fucking crank books out and stuff. It's mm -hmm. like cool. What the hell are you gonna do with that shit? Yeah. You know, like have a plan, and I think that's where leverage the technology but be aware like there's going to be a lot of uh, noise probably yeah. like in the written word form to me it feels very similar to what we used to call content spinning right yeah it's like the Which new version of content spinning where basically what content spinning was for anybody who's not familiar you would take like a blog post that was already written maybe you'd find a site that's similar to yours you would find a blog post that was already written and then you can plug it into what was called a content spinner mm -hmm. and they would go through all that content and replace a whole bunch of the words so that it read different but the problem was you'd go and read it and it doesn't it didn't read like it was written by a human anymore because mm -hmm. they swapped out the words and it wasn't very good at figuring out contextually what words yeah. should go where. It would just be like, if it sees this word, replace it with this word. And so it would replace a bunch of words, but then it would always read kind of funny. And to me, a lot of what's happening now feels like the new evolution of kind of something similar. But what it's doing is it's totally making all of this content like a commodity. What's what's to stop right. anybody from going and buying Jarvis and going, okay, I want to learn about Bitcoin. Write me an article about Bitcoin and just learning straight out of Jarvis. But like it gets to a point where like, is there still value in creating content in the future if anybody can have an algorithm generate the same content?